Hello. I would like to introduce you to Little Blue. This is a desktop CNC laser engraver and cutter that I designed. I originally had a 5.5 watt laser module attached to my 3018 Pro, but I did heavy modifications to the 3018, so I was not able to continue using uh, the laser module with it until I made Little Blue. I designed it in SolidWorks and tried to make it simple yet capable. The travel is about 240 by 240 millimeters, and I wanted it to be two and a half axis, so I made it with 25 millimeters of Z-axis travel in the head for multiple depths of cut. I started with the most complex part, the print head. This is only three printed parts and has a NEMA 17 motor, two pulleys, being a 20 tooth and 40 tooth, a 608 bearing, 200 millimeter uh, closed belt, a limit switch, and two LML 9B 9 millimeter linear guides. I didn't have them on hand when building, so uh, you'll see what I used instead uh, for a place saver. And then I also had the Sane Smart 5.5 watt laser module. I also upgraded uh, the 30 millimeter fan that came in the laser module from a 10 millimeter to a 15 millimeter for higher airflow to evacuate smoke and ash while the laser is on. You can see the difference uh, in the upper right corner. I reused the T8 two star lead screw from my old 3018 spindle head and attached it with an anti backlash T8 nut, but a normal one would still fit. Uh, it is mounted on a MGN12C uh, linear guide. No, it's not the H variant. The C variant has a 20 by 15 millimeter bolt pattern, not the H's 20 by 20 millimeter pattern. I originally designed it to use three 300 millimeter lengths of MGN12, but I only had two on hand, so I used 350 for the X axis. Please note the orientation of the parts shown. Uh, I designed all the parts to be able to be 3D printed without supports. So if you orient them on your print bed on these uh, faces uh, facing down, uh, you'll be able to uh, get nice clean prints as well. I then attached the X-axis assembly to the two 300 millimeter MGN12C linear guides. The belt is pressure fitted on the printhead's third printed part, shown here, which has teeth grooves to securely hold the belt. You can see the combination Y to X axis mount also has mounting for the motor and the X limit switch. The idler side uses M5 washers and M5 fender washers on either side of the 625 bearing for belt tracking. The X-axis assembly belt can be tensioned by loosening the M5s that fasten the printed parts to the underside of the extrusion and then sliding the belt further into the grooves and retensioning the belt and tightening the mounts. For the Y-axis, uh, which are also the legs, I kept it simple. So there are only two part files. Uh, the idler file is duplicated to the other side Tensioning is done the same way as the x-axis. You could potentially put a drive motor on the other side, but it doesn't seem necessary for this application. Here you can see my solution to not having the 9mm linear guides. I couldn't wait for their delivery, so I printed some mock-ups that work pretty well. Though they will wear out over time and get pretty sloppy, I don't recommend them as a long-term solution. I was able to get it wired up fairly quickly with the original 3018 control board and went on to configuring the machine. The parameters used are on a text file on the Thingiverse page. The link is in the description. Uh, it also has a list of nearly all the parts used and some links on where to get the more crucial ones. Here I was testing and tuning the speeds with the laser on 1%.
I made a test piece with filled in lettering at 2000 millimeters per minute and engraving a picture of itself at 4000 millimeters per minute onto this piece of cardboard. Again, check out my Thingiverse page for the part files and the parts list and let me know what you think. Alright, take care.